Soon your mailboxes and TV screens may be filled with election campaigns, but let's cut through the clutter and break down what you'll be voting for and when. The election season starts on March 12th with Georgia's presidential preference primary. That's where you vote for the candidate you want to represent your party. Then you'll vote for the next president of the United States on November 5th. Then comes May 21st, which is the general primary election. That's where folks in Bibb County vote on some major county races. There are two categories in the general primary election, the first being the partisan races. The partisan election includes positions like the sheriff, district attorney, and tax commissioner, which are all up for grabs. An important race to keep an eye on is for the sheriff. The incumbent, Sheriff David Davis, announced he'll run for a fourth term. Davis is expected to have some competition as two former Bibb officers say they'll run. But candidates can't qualify until March 4th through the 8th. This is a partisan race, so if there are qualified candidates for both parties, the race won't be decided until November 5th or a December runoff. The second category are the nonpartisan races, which include elections for the mayor, four county commissioner seats, coroner, and more. Mayor Lester Miller announced his re-election campaign last January, and we won't know if they'll have any challengers until March when others can qualify. Then there are the four county commission seats that will be open. Commissioners Elaine Lucas, Al Tillman, Virgil Watkins, and Mallory Jones have each held their seats for three, four-year-long terms and aren't eligible for re-election anymore. If those races aren't decided on by May 21st, they'll be settled in a runoff election on June 18th. 2024 could mean a lot of new faces in our local and nationwide offices.